living conscious memory I have is wanting to be a bridal designer, and I never buried it. Was just always that for me. I grew up in South Georgia, and my mother was a church organist, and she took me to weddings. And at the age of two or three, I was really impressed by the bridal gown and get up, and I started drawing brides. There's a lot of joy in designing it, of course, but that's such a small part of what we do because so much of it's customer service and uh, producing the dresses and shipping them out. I meet with the girls and I hear what they want and that's sort of how we come up with the designs. I came to the Episcopal Church by accident. My husband and I had just moved from the mountains and we were looking for a Presbyterian church. I was at a party with my brother and two of his friends and we said, we're looking for a Presbyterian church, but the last one we went to, nobody spoke to us. And he said, why don't you come with us to church? I said, well, you're not Presbyterian, you're Episcopalian. And he said, just come with us. So we met them for church the next morning and that is truly the end of the story. We signed up. We were, we are probably the most enthusiastic of the Scabayans, and we just wondered where it had been all our life. I would not be in the bridal business without a strong faith because there's a lot of stress, whether it's a week before the wedding and they need to remake the top of the dress or anything can happen. So I am certain if I didn't have a strong faith in my church and my God, I would not dare be in the bridal business. <laughs>